Hello my learner, my name is teacher Jonathan. Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified in our grade 4 size and technology on human body. Yesterday we looked at digestive system and in our digestive system we said digestion starts from the mouth and yesterday we looked at the mouth into details and we said mouth as teeth who else can remind us what is found in the mouth? Yes, Wangare, there is tongue, correct. And also, we have saliva, which are found in the mouth. And we defined what is digestion. Who can remind us what is digestion? From John. John can tell us what is digestion. Yes, John, that is correct. Digestion, it is breaking down of food into small particles, which are easily absorbed to the bloodstream. That is correct. Who else can remind us what is digestive system? Digestive system from Victoria. Yes, Victoria. Digestive system, it is the parts of the body which are involved in digestion. In other words, we call them the alimentary canal. And we say they start from the mouth and they end at the anus. That is correct. Now, in our today's lesson, kindly I would like us we observe this chart. Kindly I would like us we observe this chart. From the chart, from the chart here, we have the mouth. We have the mouth where we learned yesterday it has the teeth, it has the tongue and also saliva which is found there. From the mouth, the food will go down to the esophagus or the gullet. Or esophagus or the gullet, we also call it food pipe. That is the other part. The mouth, the esophagus or the gullet, we also call it food pipe. Food still continues to go down to the stomach. It goes down to the stomach in our digestion. It takes two, two, three to four hours in the stomach before it proceeds down to the small intestines and small intestines are, di are divided into two parts. It, we have the smaller part or the upper part of the small intestine, this part from the liver, where the liver ends, where the liver ends and we have, uh, where, where the stomach ends, we have liver joining and the pancreas. With this part we call it the duodenum, the upper part of the small intestines. Then we have the main part of the small intestine which is very long and we call it ileum. Then after, here in the small intestines is where the food now it is absorbed to our body after fina being digested. And then after that, the undigested and unabsorbed food, they go now to the large intestine. And these large intestines are also divided into two. We have the colon and we have the rectum. The colon is the main part of the large intestine. Then we have the colon, the, the rectum. And then after the rectum stores food for some few hours as it waits to be adjusted or taken away from our body through anus. So can we observe the parts of digestive system? All the parts of the alimentary canal, we have said we have the mouth, we have the esophagus, we have the stomach, we have the liver and pancreas are not part of the digestive system, but we call them the support organ because they support in, digest in digestion of food. Then we have the upper part of the small intestine, which I have called it the duodenum. This part from here to here, it is called the duodenum. Then the food goes down again to the large intestine. So the small intestines, which are very long, they are coiled up to seven meters. They are coiled so that they can accommodate total absorption of food in our blood system. Inside that small intestines, the food is absorbed. Then it proceeds, the undigested and unabsorbed food to the large intestine. We have seen the large intestines are also divided into two. The main part, which is called the colon and rectum. Rectum, it is this temporary storage of the undigested food before it is taken away from our body through the anus. So these are the parts we have said are 
used in digestion the parts which are involved in digestion in our groups can we read from our board what we have written from the chart we have the mouth kamau we have the esophagus we have said esophagus is also called the gullet or the food pipe then we have the stomach is also another part of the alimentary canal we have the small intestines and we have said small intestines are divided into two parts small intestines are divided into two parts we have the small the upper part we have called it the duodenum duodenum and the main part of the small intestine or the lower part which is called ileum those are the two parts of the small intestines then food also goes down they are digested and, and absorbed food to the large intestines and the large intestines we have said they are divided also into two the main part or the major part of this large intestine is called the colon and the temporary storage of the undigested food we have called it rectum and then after that food goes or the undigested and unabsorbed food goes out of our body through the anus. The activity for us today, members, any body with a question, learners, anybody with a question of what we have learned, the parts of the digestive system, we have said it starts from the mouth and it ends at the anus. An activity for us to do, an activity for us to do, And when you are doing the activity or preparing for the activity, remember, liver and pancreas are not part of the alimentary canal, even though they help us in digestion. And we call them the support organs because they support our body in digestion. The activity for us is to draw and label the human digestive system. Just draw and label The, the human digestive system digestive system draw and label the human digestive system any question any question that marks the end of our lesson for today bye bye